Hi everyone, welcome to Timtech Global Network. Today, let's talk about developing fingerprints with super glue. Super glue filming. According to local principles, every contact leaves a trace, meaning that when your finger touches a surface, it leaves behind deposit of sweat and natural oil in a pattern that mirrors the ridges and trough found on your fingertips. The odds of two individuals having identical fingerprints are 64 billion to one making them an ideal tool for identification in criminal investigation. Introduction Cyanoacrylate, also called superglue filming, is a chemical method for the detection of latent finger marks on non-porous surfaces such as glass, plastic rubber, finished and unfinished woods. The method relies on the deep position of polymerized cyanohacrylate ester on residues of latent finger marks. The method develops clear, stable, white color fingerprints. Uh, this is a typical example of a finished product of fingerprint filming. However, Several post-treatment procedures can be used to improve the contrast of developed prints. In addition to it, some pre-treatment procedures can also be used to develop age latent finger marks. Superglue filming is an efficient, non-disruptive and excellent procedure for developing latent finger marks. Fingerprints are one of the most valuable evidence due to their uniqueness. They are found on objects present at a crime scene and are used to identify the suspect or criminal or link them to crime scene. What is finger marks? Finger marks are formed by sweat released from pores present on friction rigid skin of ants. Finger ridges contain large numbers of sweat pores. When the finger touches any surface, the sweat from these pores get deposited in the form of contour, which are the mirror image of the rigid patterns. Since sweat is colorless in nature, its deposition on surface also produces colorless impressions and these impressions are called latent fingerprints. There are three types of glands responsible for natural secretion from fingertips, namely eccrine, apocrine, sebaceous gland. Eccrine glands are widely distributed throughout the body and are particularly numerous on the palms of hands and the sole of feet. This gland produces sweat that is more than 98% water. This gland secretes chemicals as a result of general metabolism and catabolism. Latest fingerprint residues consists of secretion of the eccrine, sebaceous gland, and apocrine glands. Sweat contains water greater than 98%, minerals 0.5%, and organic compound 0.5%. Eccrine sweat consists of proteins, urea, amino acid, uric acid, lactic acid, sugar, Creatine, choline, wine, 
Silicious sweat consists of glyceride, fatty acid, wax ester, squalene, and sterile ester. Different kinds of optical, physical, and chemical methods are routinely used to visualize latent fingerprints. This method can be used alone or in combination with others to enhance the visibility of developed prints. Selection of method depends on nature, that is, it could be porous, semi porous, non porous. Also, depend on color and condition because it could be wet or dry surfaces. Cyanoacrylate forms paper which interact with certain acrylic components of Lincoln finger mark residues and get polymerized and impact a white color to them. This add white polymer is known as polycyanoacrylate. This is a typical example. Don't forget, failure not to super, super glue filming non-porous evidence found at crime scene before mailing it to lab may cause permanent wiping of the evidence, meaning that you have simply helped the bad guys to continue their good work. Do not expect littered finger or palm print on a pistol, knife, can, bottle, phone, mug, or credit card to survive many to the lab if you do not either do one of the following. Number one, super glue film the evidence before mailing or package the item in such a way that nothing can touch or rub against the smooth surfaces you want to process for latent prints. Complete of super glue filming equipment. Necessary materials needed. Number one is super glue especially the one that has inscription of cyanoacrylates. Number two is aluminum foil soak rubber container. That is a small pieces of container that you can put your liquid super glue. Number three, you need a low level heat source. E.g. it could be candy warmer or a small electric baby food warmer. This is also a typical example. Fumi chamber. Lighting and a fan source is also an example. Hot water container. Where to get your materials? Most of the materials can be sourced locally. Super glue and aluminum foil you can buy from nearest supermarket to you. Chamber, you can get a transparent plastic container large enough to hold the largest piece of evidence you need to process. Super glue filming procedure. If these are the steps you will take in carry out the super glue filming activities. Number one is put liquid super glue on the aluminum foil stroke rubber container, just a small quantity. Number two, place a cup of hot water inside the chamber to add humidity to the air. Number three, stand up your evidence or hang it inside the chamber in a manner allowing maximum exposure to film. Number four, close up your chamber and turn on one. The fan for smooth distribution of the film inside the chamber. Two, the light source to increase visibility during filming process. And lastly, the heat source for 10 minutes. After this, shut off the heat, open the chamber, and check your test print. If the test print look okay, the evidence is properly processed and ready to make to the lab. If the test print didn't turn at least a little white, add some more super glue, 
slow the chamber and film for 10 more minutes. Caution. Always assume that you are destroying identifiable, identifiable latent prints anywhere you touch the evidence. The slightest abrasion can render them forever illegible. Remember, always apply safety procedure. Imagine superglue filming its source with dangerous evidence such as ammunition or flammable liquid. Advantage of super glue filming. The greatest source of fingerprint forensic evidence comes from latent fingerprints. That is, those not immediately visible to the eyes because they are like they are less likely to be wiped or erased by the bad guys at the crime scene. Thanks for watching. Hello, welcome to the practical section. Let me show you the basic components I put together to form in the plain film chamber. Let me start from the chamber itself. This is just a plastic rubber, a transparent plastic rubber that is big enough to contain the evidence I want to process. You can see I run a power cable inside it. That cable will supply energy to the heat source. This one, this cable will supply energy to the heat source. See? These are just personal construction. After this, the most important critical element in the component of a film chamber is the heat source. This is a food warmer for children. I bought it in the market. It has good, good energy, good heat energy supply. You can see this is the socket where you power it and has a regulator inside. So this is what I use at my heat source. You can, the other thing you can use is candle warmer. You can use candle warmer or anything that we can regulate like can regulate energy. So I'm going to connect this to the chamber. I don't need a cover. The cover can step aside. Another fighter component is the super glue container. This is where you will have your super glue. So let me also add it. Another fighter component is a core, a small core where you will add your hot water that will add humidity to the air. This is the cover of the film chamber. This cover I put together a little computer fan. This computer fan we we allow even distribution of the film inside the chamber. I also put together an LED light. This LED light will hide visibility to the process. I will be able to monitor the process of development. Let me put on the fan and the LED light and to, for you to see how it works. You can see the fan has started working. That the fan working. Now the heavy daylight. See? So, 
Tak kau bayi. So let me carry out a little experiment with these tools. First of all, I will open it. I will add a little. Let me add a little super glue here. I've added a little super glue. Put it there. Add your hot water. I've added a little hot water to add humidity to the air. I'll put it there too. I will hide the evidence I want to process. This is a mobile phone, an evidence recovered from the crime scene. I want to lift the, the fingerprint on it. It is better to first of all lift the fingerprint before you carry out other digital examination on the mobile phone. Other item recovered is a mug. I'm also going to hide it. Position them strategically where the game can go there. Then I will cover the chamber. Lastly, I will turn on my heat source. This is the power supply to my heat source. I will turn it on. Then I will leave it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I will come back to check the process. Let's watch together.
Yeah, it is exactly 10 minutes. Let's check the process. I think the process is fantastic. Yeah, the process is okay. It's good. So let's try and lift the fingerprint on the high claim that we have developed. So, you can turn, turn on your heat source, turn on your lights. The next stage is, let's apply magnetic powder to enhance the visibility of the finger marks.
apply your lifting card do it gradually make sure there is no ear in between That is it. That's the finger man. That's the finger. That's it. 